my name is Jennifer Mahoney. Welcome to the IUPUI Grad Channel, where we talk to people about the events and graduate programs at IUPUI. Today our focus is on the dentistry, the PhD dentistry program. And joining me is Dr. Richard Gregory and Dr. Gada Batarse. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna talk about the PhD program that Gada is involved in. So um, why don't you tell me a little bit about this program, Dr. Gregory? Well, our school has been in, in existence since uh, the 1870s or 1880s. Um, our PhD program has been in existence since the 1960s. We've had roughly 40 uh, PhD students graduate from our program. Um, for the last five to 10 years, we have an average uh, about 10 students at any one time in our PhD program. Um, we uh, uh, have a wide range of disciplines that are part of that program, uh, from microbiology to immunology to bone research to cell biology to biochemistry, uh, tissue regeneration uh, interests. Uh, our PhD program is currently composed of uh, four tracks. Uh, we recently uh, expanded it from three tracks. The three tracks are oral biology, preventive dentistry, dental materials, and dental biomaterials. Okay, and I understand that you just uh, admit a couple of, of students uh, to the program, the PhD program each year, and Dr. Batarse was one lucky mm -hmm. enough to, to get uh, accepted into that program. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the area you're studying and why you chose this, this program? Okay. Um, I, I just finished my uh, master's in operative dentistry and uh, the research area that I digged in uh, was um, about uh, restoration, the, you know, the tooth colored restoration and its effect on the pulp tissue and um, that got me so much interested in the research field um, and that was one of the major uh, reasons that I wanted to pursue PhD is just, you know, um, to um, take and to take the research knowledge into a deeper level. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, what kind of plans do you have upon graduation then? Is it to teach? Um, is, is that one of the main things? Definitely. My, my plans are uh, to pursue academic uh, position after I'm done. And uh, I'm hoping, you know, that, um, you know, that will, I will have an opportunity even here in IUPUI since, you know, it's one of uh, the best schools, um, it's ranked really high among dental schools. And that must have been one of the reasons that you chose it. Yes, definitely. Okay, and what kind of advice would you give to a student that's applying to this PhD program? I will definitely encourage um, uh, anybody who's, uh, who, who's wanting to increase uh, the level of knowledge in research field and is pursuing an academic, um, you know, position to apply to it. And I love uh, the flexibility of this program you know I'm, I'm married I have four children and yet I'm able to do it it's, it's really um, it, it fits within anybody's schedule and uh, and you know there are also um, I'm sure Dr. Gregory is going to touch base on that the tracks that we have you know it um, it it you know it suits everybody's um, uh, interests okay. you know so it, it is definitely um, encouraged I, w I would encourage anybody who would like uh, yeah, to to seek okay. academic position to apply to it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know that um, IU is known for this program nationally, as you mentioned, and that there was uh, over 200 students who represented 23 U.S. states and 23 countries or regions. And Dr. Gregory, you want to talk a little bit about how that's broken down into what areas those students are have studied? Well, as I said earlier, uh, we have. Uh, uh, students working in microbiology fields, immunology fields, um, bone research fields, cell biology fields, tissue regeneration fields. These are the students that are working in uh, on their PhDs uh, as, as well as our master's program. We require a, a research project for our master's students. Um, and, and so we have approximately 25 different research laboratories in our, in our school. Uh, each are led by uh, one faculty member that typically has a PhD in, in their uh, area of expertise. Um, the other graduate programs other than the PhD programs include, in addition to our, our DDS or dental student program, include the dental hygiene program, dental assisting programs, 
Uh, of course, those are not uh, graduate programs, but uh, the graduate programs are, consist of the master's programs in periodontics, endodontics, orthodontics, prosthodontics, operative dentistry, preventive dentistry, uh, hospital surg uh, oral surgery, hospital dentistry, dental materials. Dental materials <laughs> thank you. Uh, and, and so there's a wide breadth of, uh, of different subjects that students can can uh, select to work on or in that field. Yeah, it sounds like there's a lot of opportunities and something for everyone maybe that's mm -hmm. interested in the field of dentistry. So. Yes. Our students work very, uh, very diligently on their research projects. Uh, many of them are working on uh, very traditional basic science projects. It's not strictly a, a clinical uh, dental research uh, program. Uh, they're very basic science. Uh, projects. Uh, we have a number of labs that are focused on molecular biology, looking at DNA and RNA uh, genes uh, that are upregulated or downregulated under different conditions. Okay. Well, I think we're out of time, so I just want to thank you both for joining us today on the IUPUI Grad Channel. Good luck to you, Dr. Batarse. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for joining us here. We hope you'll come back in the future to hear more about some of the graduate programs at IUPUI.